So here we have the Vauxhall Corsa Limited Edition on a 12 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a three door car with black alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see that given the size of the car, we've got plenty of boot space in there. You can increase that space should you wish to by folding down that rear seat section. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, we have the speedometer. In the middle at the top, you can see the fuel gauge, and then beneath that, the total miles for the car, which are 71,278. If we back out to the steering wheel, we have stereo controls available to us on either side. The stereo itself comprises of the screen that you can see just here, and then the main stereo unit beneath it. So this car has got AM, FM radio and auxiliary input as you saw just a moment ago. Uh, so you can listen to your radio, of course, via AM or FM. You can plug a device in via auxiliary. This car also has a CD player as well. So plenty of ways to listen to your own music. You can also access an onboard trip computer from up here as well. And all of the buttons to do what I was just doing are down here. So you can access your radio, your CD player, the main volume for the stereo. This also turns it on and off again. Just above that, we have deadlocks. So you can lock the car doors from the outside. You can also turn off the passenger airbag as well. Uh, you can see the CD player contained within that unit. Beneath that, we have air conditioning. So you can change the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction you'd like the air to be distributed in. The air conditioning is on when this light shows, so off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set over here. And this button will turn on or off the rear heated screen. Beneath that, we have the auxiliary input that I mentioned a moment ago. A 12 volt charging socket here, so you can charge your phone, for example. And then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.